What's going on guys? So in today's video, I got a lovely guest here. This is Lily from the Scented Lily Instagram channel. Yes. Uh, Instagram page. Now you may have seen Lily on some of Manny's videos. Yes, two. Uh, so, so far. <laughs> yeah, so you've done a few videos for Manny and this is going to be a first for me. Today's video is actually going to be 10 designer fragrances. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to choose one designer fragrance from each house. And all of these fragrances are fairly accessible whether you get them retail or online. So I have to do a little bit of research first to see if some of these are a little bit harder to get. But you know, online, fragrance net, fragrance X, so on. So we're just gonna go with any one right now. So the first one is actually gonna be Harry Ellis Cobalt. And I also had to ask her if she smelled any of these and her husband Tim said no. I am not. So Tim is actually sitting in the corner and we're gonna be doing a few videos as well. So in this video we're gonna see which one you like the most. We're gonna go. Alright, so we, we got you to smell Perry Ellis Cobalt before we get in, got interrupted, so my shit's pretty casual. So, That's okay. Alright, so we're going to get you to smell Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute. So people are going to say that it's the dry down that matters most in the initial opening, and there we go, I am all over the place. So which one do you prefer, Perry Ellis or the Givenchy? I have to say the Givenchy. It's got a freshness, and but it has, I think, a little bit more depth. So then we're going to pair it off against one that I've hyped a lot, Zegna Forte. Zegna Forte or the Givenchy? Wow, this is quite nice, actually. Do you like it? I do. It's it's got a it's a little bit powdery. That's a hard one. Let me do a comparison. So which one goes on though? I would have to go with the second year, actually. Okay, all right. Yeah. Then. All right, so a house that I'm associated with without a paycheck, Ferrari's <laughs> Silver Essence. I have pumped this house. There are many fragrances, many, many times. That is a very wet, damp card. So Ferrari's or the Xenia? I have something similar to this. It kind of actually reminds me of a Tom Ford. Interesting. Black Orchid. I've smelled that one before. But Maybe it's, a, it's like a plum or something that's in it. Like some sort of fruit. No? And there's an exotic this to it. This is a coconut bug. Oh. Coconut. That's no. There's coconut, incense, woods. That uh, was just the first impression. Yeah. But The dry down's a little bit different. But you prefer the Zegna or? I'm still going to go with the Zegna. Gucci Guilty Absolute. My wife loves this one. Loves it. Well, she. Oh, super, super woody. Okay. This is a very bold masculine scent. Mm -hmm. Is there leather in it? Uh, I think that uh, leather is a note. Okay. I haven't reviewed this one. I haven't really worn it much. It's quite nice. But. I think I'm gonna go with this one actually. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I actually lied to you. Like it says for a winter scent. Sorry. It's. I think it's. Uh, Pretty good. So my, I said my, my wife loves this one. She hates it. Oh really? She absolutely detests this one. So it, maybe she's not like, I don't know. I get a leather note from it. She's so not in. Into she says it's a little too animalic. For ah her nose, okay. So. so we're gonna go with Roberto Cavalli, Womo. Roberto Cavalli or the Gucci Absolute. I'm not sure. I'm like they're both good. Um, they're both very different. They're very different. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with the Gucci. All right, so we have four cents remaining. Let's go with this one here. Diesel Fuel for Life Spirit. Diesel or the Gucci? One's very young, one's more mature, more classic, yeah. I find. Maybe too generic for me. Wow. Yeah. Okay, all right, so I guess Gucci goes on? Yeah. John Barbados, the original. Barbados or Gucci? I think both brands are great. Yeah. Just this one is an acquired taste. I have to go with the Barbados. Really? Yeah. Why is it moving on? I feel like that one is kind of just like the note is just very flat where like all I smell is leather on that one. Okay. And I don't know if it's a note in it or not, but I believe it this is. This one but is citrusy and woody. Maybe some floral, I'm not sure. Okay, all right then. But I feel this one has a little bit more depth. So our next one is going to be Burberry's London. I've been wanting to get some of the Burberry's, but I'm not a chance. No, they're surprisingly pretty good house. Yeah. Uh, 
This is, I believe, the only bottle that I have. This is nice. It's got like an amber to it or something, something sweet. Okay. Oh, they're so different. I'm gonna stick with the Barbados. Okay. I find that both of these scents though are very... They're very nice. Yeah, they're yeah. classy, they're yeah. elegant, they're very versatile. Last but not least. Dunhill Desire Black. Okay. Okay. So... Funky bottle. <laughs> that it is. <laughs> inexpensive fragrance. Both of these fragrances are very inexpensive. Okay. But for the win, which one is the best winter scent designer? Not this one. <laughs> so Barbados for the win. Why is why do you like the Barbados so much? I feel like it's a very mass appealing uh, fragrance. Yeah. I think it will probably get a lot more likes um, as opposed to the other one, the Dunhill. I feel like it transformed already. Like okay. from the first time that I smelled it, it's like powdery, ambery. It's really nice. There's a plum note to that oh, one. I think that's that where the sweetness is coming from. I think that there's a leather note or like a suede. Yeah. Not sure. I haven't reviewed it yet. So. Really, really, really nice. Like this it. one here does get comparisons to a Clive Christensen scent. Not exactly sure which one, okay. but it has like depth. It's very different than a lot of the other hmm. Dunhills, but... Barbados for the win. For the win. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't. I'll attach Lily's Instagram link down below, so please make sure to check her out. If you like this video, please give it a big two thumbs up if you can. So guys, we thank you for your time. Take care. And Mademoiselle, thank you very much for doing thank the you. video. Thank you. Right? Alright guys. <laughs> Thank you and take care. With this one, we're just gonna see which one you like the most. <laughs> Looper! <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god.